Uh, and I might ask this question again later on because I get a lot of people asking me what are uh, what is options trading. So I guess can you give a um, a rundown of what is options trading? Yes. So options trading is different from like regular buying and owning a stock. So with options, it's like you have a certain time frame that you have to sell your stock. Um, well, in options, we call it contracts. So mm -hmm. stocks, like when you buy them, you hold those for a lifetime. Some give you dividends and uh, those are yours to keep forever. But with options, you're buying 100 shares and within the 100 shares that's equal to one contract, you're able to see faster profits in a shorter period of time. And also you can like invest a little bit of money if it's like, um, if a stock is like, eight hundred dollars like you and you don't have eight hundred dollars to buy that stock you can buy a contract which some contracts will be like ten dollars or like a dollar and like you're able to get the same benefits or more um than compared to owning a regular stock but also the risk and reward ratio is really high so it's really risky but i love it <laughs> it's worth yeah. it yeah, I would have to say, I mean, I, I think this is a great and timely um, interview because there's so much that has happened in the past year as far as far as especially with the pandemic and millennials and many people, including yourself, have made a ton of money on the stock market. And I like to let everybody know that, see if I'm getting my finger right, she's the one that actually taught me um, options trading right. when I first started learning about the stock market period. So during the pandemic, I I got furloughed a few times and I just utilized that time to uh, learn how to do options during that time. And the person that introduced me to stocks, when I first started learning about that, I was able to introduce them to learn options trading. And it completely changed, you know, probably everybody who's actually taking it serious is life. And it's not something that you just kind of learn. There There is no gamble. Like, I mean, obviously it's a gamble, but there is no you can't approach it like it's gambling or like the normal stock market it is an educated risk that you're taking and there's a lot of different factors that are included so uh, i have to say thank you to Paige because she taught me um you know and then from there we both kind of learn together and kind of bounce ideas back and forth so thank you you're welcome so with that like i said i get a lot of questions i know she gets a ton of questions and she was getting a ton of questions when i was asking questions so she decided to write a book. Can you tell us some more about that? Right. So in my book, I wrote, I wrote it as if I was teaching myself. So with me, I need to know uh, when this happens, when that happens, like what happens simultaneously. So I basically wrote, I'm also an MBA student. So some stuff that I did learn in business school, I wrote it in the book. Um, which we did have a class on the stock market and that's where, where I kind of started learning. Um, mm -hmm. So in my book, I talked about business. Um, I gave like a live step-by-step -step guide for beginners on how, to, how I trade options. So there's no correct way to trade, which is my book about how I trade it. And I gave like real life examples and like what to do when this happens and like what I don't do, what I do, where you can like look up other resources. So Okay. Yeah. So I guess what, what made you interested in writing a book about it? Because when I first started teaching it like um a lot of people kept asking me, but it was taking too long. So I was okay. just like, man, I have so much stuff to do. I'm just gonna write a book and also in school, like they make us do like um, a lot of like PDFs. So like I kind of got inspired and then I just wrote it. Nice. Yeah. So I guess, um, have you found the book to be beneficial to others in their journey since so you don't have to kind of go back and forth? I guess kind of like you did me. And to be honest with you, you know, with the book, <clears throat> I, I know that there's definitely people I refer to the book and things like that. Um, I would I would say that it's much easier to understand than getting screenshots of stuff that you don't understand. And I tell anybody out there, please don't assume that you get it. 
oh, I get it. You know, I don't need to learn anymore. Oh, I saw this YouTube video or I saw this, you know, I read a couple of pages in a book. No, you need to actually understand, like, even if you get it, there's so many other factors all the time. So I guess, have you found the book to kind of limit the questions or do you feel like you get more even still with uh, writing it? Um, definitely the questions did limit. Um, I just look at a few questions, like people will ask me like, um, my opinion on this or that. Um, yeah, definitely I do recommend people to like watch YouTube videos of people's experiences so you can know what you're getting yourself into because it's really you know it's risky but it's worth it yes watch youtube videos including my channel everybody that's yeah. watching subscribe yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. not about the third market, but subscribe anyway exactly uh, but with that what actually made you get interested in even um and even doing the stock market like what got you interested in the stock market well when i was like growing up so like probably around like age 2018 around that time i knew like in long term like i was i always wanted to be in the stock market mm -hmm. i didn't know anything i just thought you know you buy a little one two shares and whatever whatever so when i um there was a, a friend of mine um he used to talk about stocks all the time i was like okay whatever and he put me in a group chat and like i was just like okay <laughs> Um, and then when I started studying business, um, uh, when I did my, started doing my MBA, that's when I was like, I was really interested in like business. And, um, then that person was like, oh, the market crashed. And I was like, all right, you know what? Let me just do it. So I just did it. And yeah. so, so did you start around the pandemic also, or did you start before that? Oh, okay, so I started learning about it before the pandemic, and then I started like right when we started lockdown. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think I bought my first stock because I didn't even know where you could buy it. Yeah, but I always heard and wanted to know, and I think I bought my first stock in maybe March uh, mm -hmm. during the pandemic. And I would say, like, legit, even the long term stuff. Uh, well, actually, that's going to lead to another question. But even the long-term stuff that I've initially invested in during the crash has, you know, I don't even pay attention to it. But then I go back and I check, you know, every now and then I'm like, golly, how the more? I did nothing. I right. literally did nothing. Yeah, definitely. I gave somebody five dollars and they gave me a hundred dollars back. Right. You gotta have a lot of patience. Um, yeah. That's where speculation. Mm -hmm. versus investing comes in so i guess what made you choose to go the options route because a lot of people don't know about the options route they just know mainly long-term stocks so i guess what's the benefit of doing options versus um the normal stock market because there's a big difference yeah i like both but the thrill of options is kind of like more fun <laughs> for me <Really>? like, <laughs> yeah it's more like I mean, I got patience, but sometimes when you know you want to see that money, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It happens a lot more volatile and a lot. It, it happens a lot faster. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, and I don't know. Um, crypto is really volatile too, so it's just like it's just opening more doors. Like, I kind of consider these as like different sources of income too, because you have your long term stocks to hold you have your dividends you have your options you have crypto like that's four different like categories to me you know mm -hmm. 